Hey there Toy Collector friends and Transformers fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the time traveling toy collector and this finally is the Hasbro Transformers Legacy Stunticon Combiner Menasaur. Yep, that's a bit of a mouthful, but then to be fair, so is this chap. Let us do a very quick pan. So he's been released uh, over the last, what feels like many, 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 many months. Um, uh, what you're seeing in the main is Motormaster and his trailer combined to form the skeletal structure with the Stunticons, um, Breakdown, Drag Strip, Wild Rider and Dead End um, forming the, the core limb components. So uh, this is such a big guy, I mean a slightly different um, review station just to try and get the, the whole thing in. Um, and I just think, I just think this is this is fantastic and well worth the wait and well worth the anticipation. Uh, we'll talk about some of the nuances around the design changes, some of the clever engineering, particularly in the arms and a bit in the legs. Um, and uh, yeah, some of my thoughts. I'm not going to do the whole. This is how you combine him. This is how you decombine him. This is how you transform him, etc. Because that this isn't a really a tutorial video. And there are people who want to go and see that. It's some fantastic tutorial videos. In fact. I actually went and watched one of MGOs on this um, purely because I was having such a, a bit of a challenge with an aspect of the transformation, which I will talk about over the course of this video. Um, if you want to see the individual uh, Stunticons, uh, you can. Uh, I have got a Stunticon um, legacy playlist, which you can go and have a look at, and this video forms part of that. But you can see the other five um, in their individual uh, showcase within that playlist. Anyway, let's get down to business and bring this in for a bit of an up close and personal. Now, first of all, I think from a design point of view, this is, of course, uh, going more for cartoon accuracy in the main. Um, but there's a there's a it's a really great that's a really great head sculpt. I love the silver. I love the red eyes. Uh, I love the shoulders. Now, Menasaur, as you know, is comprised of many. It was comprised of all of the Stunticons. But the, the main torso area, uh, you can see that that's from the battle platform, which is the trailer section of um, Motormaster. And the, the transformation is great. I never had any of the Combiner Wars um, Transformers, so I don't really get to handle any of the sort of earlier <clears throat> sort of uh, wilderness years versions of Menasaur. I just had the G1 Menasaur when it came out along with Superion and Defensor. Um, but this this is, this is does it proud, I have to say. It's a really lovely piece. Um, I'm gonna just sort of lift him, because it's such an, such a, he's so big, it's such a, an effort to try and get him all in. But the detailing on the torso, you've seen it before, because it was part of that battle platform. Uh, and I'm gonna mention a bit more about that in a second. But the way it works is really, really clever. Now you've not seen them yet, so I'm just gonna spin them around. Um, but there are those two guys forming the rear section of the legs there. Let's pop that windscreen down. Um, and more on that in a moment. But what's great with the design is how these sections here, these trapdoors, uh, close up uh, with a almost mirror version of the underside of the two cars. Maybe some coloration there would have, would have lent itself to, to create the illusion more effectively. Um, but it is quite a good match. And I do like the way the engineering, when you pop those cars in, um, pushes those two trapdoors shut, and there you have quite solid legs um, and kneecaps for Menasaur. Similarly, we have the engineering around the arms, um, all of which have got lovely, slightly soft ratchet joints, but they're there nevertheless. But the quality of this is terrific. Um, you'll have seen this in other, in other videos, in other reviews, but these two guys uh, actually split in the middle uh, and the first time I did this was when I combined him for this video a little earlier today and that's the absolute truth so let me just get these so you can see them and the mechanism operates so when you attach um, the, the vehicle mode to the arm there's a there's a little uh, connecting tab that actually depresses a button that allows the two sides, the two portions, to separate at the elbow. Um, drag strip, very easy, straight away did it. This one, not so much, 
giving me heart attacks. I literally thought I was going to smack, uh, snap the car in half. Uh, and it really made me very, very anxious. So I, I came up with a bit of a workaround, which was I put the, um, I, exited, I transformed the arm without the car on it then attached the car purely to the top section, which is where the release is, and then wiggled the second section off and then attached it separately. Um, and that worked. And it also calmed down my transformation anxiety significantly so that that then became something that I now know in the future, uh, I'll be much more comfortable and confident doing. I've also left um, his uh, blasters on there. I've, I've turned them around slightly so that we can have them pointing forwards, but they now become uh, an, an additional weapon uh, for Menasaur to have when he goes out fighting the other legacy combiners that we perhaps don't have quite yet. But I've got a very strong feeling we may be getting some more in the future. They'd be foolish not to, because Menasaur, I think, has done particularly well. Particularly well. I did have some issues transforming the torso section of Motormaster into Menasaur, particularly folding up the legs that they didn't they really didn't want to connect in the torso section and again I think it may have been the stiffness of the toy because he's not been converted into torso mode before today um, so I think that was not too bad they did eventually go in but that was more of a joint effort once I combined him with the the base mode elements of the trailer um, that helped very much reframe uh, the torso element and everything did eventually snap into place uh, quite dramatically to the point where I think I just leave him like this um, rather than reverse the process and hopefully not have any too too much of a disaster with that. Um, similarly with the the leg sections down here I'll just rotate him around pop in there and then we can take a look down. Uh, I mean we can see here that it really does fill in very nicely you know, as a bot, there's no hollow spaces. Um, and here we have the, the two <laughs> leg bot contributors. And yeah, I know there's been a bit of a fuss about them being on this side, um, but I dare say with, with a bit more investment and a bit more engineering, they could have worked around the front, um, but I think you'd have risked losing some of the ank well, sort of ankle tilt such as there is. It's not great anyway, because these don't have any mobility. They, they, they flex a bit but they don't give you an awful lot of mobility. So uh, as you probably are aware, you can detach the, se the sections here, you can see where the joints are, and swap them, reverse them around and put them in so that the cars are actually on the front, but you then do lose the effective knee joint uh, capacity. So I think it really depends on how you want to display and what you want to do with this figure. Um, but to all intents and purposes, it works really well. I do love how it all comes together. Um, it's really, really cool, and I, I, I can't, I can't really say it enough how much I do really like um, the the sort of skeletal arrangement um, and and in, incorporating the vehicles into it. I wasn't sure to start with because as a as a child of the G1, uh, the Church of G1, as it were, uh, I was accustomed to having the cars. You pop their heads down, they fit into the side slots on the Menasaur body, similar for the legs, and away you go. So this was a bit more complex, far more complex than that. But actually, I think the engineering really works. And having him in hand, is, it really is great. It does lend a degree of weight and gravitas to Menasaur that I think he warrants. Um, it's evocative, sufficiently evocative of the original without it being too slavishly connected to it. Um, and I think as, a, as a, an approach, I'm, I'm very happy. I think I would be being churlish if I, if I didn't say I was very happy. I love the joints, the articulation. Um, again, it's a, the, 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 the sword kind of is okay. It's a little bit on the small side for Menasaur when you see it in action there. Um, but it's also a little bit on the too large side for Motormaster. So you kind of go, I don't really know what they were hoping for with that. And from a other weapon point of view we know that in the base mode we have that freestanding cannon that can be used here I'm not a fan of it to be honest I think it's okay in the base mode because it kind of gives another tower um, but for for the overall bot mode I'm not so I'm not so convinced um, I would just add actually that I had a bit more fun with the base mode just before I um, converted him up I was playing about with the vehicles in the base mode um, and 
I know we have the standard configuration of the base mode because we always do, uh, as as proposed by the uh, instructions. But I I did I did take a little moment to um, to play with that a little uh, and, and go for some various iterations, all of which I found to be quite fun, and I had a lot more fun with the base mode than I thought I was going to have. Um, so I was really quite surprised. Um, and it's quite interactive, it can be quite interactive with the vehicles, which isn't something that's overly um, pushed in any of the sort of promotional materials or the marketing for it. So I just wanted to say that there, that if you've got the time and the inclination, um, pop Motormaster's trailer into the, into the base mode and then play with some of the, um, the variations in terms of how you structure it. Uh, because it was quite fun to, to muck about with. I did take a few photos of that, so I'll stick them uh, at the end of the, of the video, just so you can check in and have a, and have a look. Um, yeah, I was really happy with the way that the head is tucked away inside the body of Menasaur, uh, sorry, of Motormaster. Uh, I loved the Motormaster transformation element overall. The, the vehicles overall combine very, very easily. Uh, again, drag strip separated easily. <laughs> I really did have palpitations um, over here. I can't, I, it, I'm getting cold just thinking about it. I've literally felt like I was gonna snap the car in half um, and I'd have been absolutely devastated, if you excuse the pun, unintended, um, if that had happened. Um, so I did, as I say, go for my workaround, which was to just convert the arm section and then attach him and uh, then detach the middle section um, in a bit of a cheat mechanism. Uh, but it worked, so I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, and I do really like the overall aesthetic. And I'm s I am really, really hope that we do see some more combiners in the near future. Because I think if they're, if they're as good as this, then we're really on to a winner. And I know there have been sort of masterpiece knockoff third-party versions of Menasaur with different names. But I'm, I don't say I'm a purist because I, I just... You know, if, if I like the, the product or the model or the toy, then that's what I'm going to go for. Um, but I am naturally inclined towards the G1 aesthetic because that's what I had growing up. And if you put this next to the Menasaur that I grew up with, um, so many of us grew up with, I'm sure, then it just knocks the original out of the park whilst actually being completely and utterly respectful to that original beast of a bot um so i'm curious to know what we think we're going to get next i'm i really fancy superion um because i think we need an autobot combiner because i think it's been a while since we had one and certainly in this range the sort of legacy the legacy engineering treatment i think it'd be really really lovely to see that that's where i would love to see it although i would really like to get a g1-esque um devastator set uh, I, I do, I do uh, have my eye on one, uh, but I'm not sure. I'm also, I'm also tracking a Combiner Wars Devastator, but I'm con not convinced by that one. And I've also looked a couple of reviews as well, so I don't know. I think I might keep my money in my pocket and see if we get a, 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 a Devastator either in the Studio Series 86 range, which might happen, or. Uh, in the legacy range. Either of those would tick some boxes for me, most assuredly. Anyway, enough of me gabbling. Uh, I hope I've given you an opportunity to see as much of this figure as it's practical for me to show you. There are other videos out there doing lots of wonderful showcasing. Um, this was really to wrap up my journey to completing my collection of legacy Stunticons. Um, what do you think? If you like the look of him, uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you think that this approach using the sort of skeletal structure works or would you rather see the old fashioned version of just slamming those bot heads into the various sockets and making do with what we get from that? Um, every opinion is valid because that's the beauty of it being your opinion. It's yours. Um, so uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, like, hit the like button. That would be fantastic. Uh, and also in for a penny, why not hit the subscribe button as well? And that way you'll never miss a future video, whether it's more Transformers, be it G1, be it Legacy, be it uh, Titans Return, goodness knows what it might be. It could be Doctor Who, it could be Star Trek, it could be Space 1999, it could be Battlestar Galactica, it could be G.I. Joe, it could be anything. Um, come back, have a little look around the site, um, see what playlists 
so take your fancy. As I said, there is a playlist for all the Stunticons if you want to get up close and personal with those. Thanks for spending the last 15 or so minutes with me. Uh, hang around for some photos of the Stunticons in action, and I will see you in a future video. I've been the Time Travelling Toy Collector. You have been a fantastic audience, and this has been the Transformers Legacy Menasaur. Take care. Bye-bye for now.